Before the video starts, I just want to give a huge thank you to all you guys. The support of the YouTube, TikTok, and most importantly, my Twitch has been ridiculous and it's allowed me to afford everything in my setup. So seriously, thank you. Another thing too, if you're interested about anything in my room or setup, I'll have links to everything down below in the description. So make sure you head over there. I'll try to make it organized so you can find something that you're looking for. And with that being said, let's get into the setup tour. It's been over eight months since I've done a setup tour and a lot has changed. So I'm first gonna start with the main setup and kind of work my way around. Starting with the monitors. My main monitor is a 280 hertz Asus monitor. I have a 144 hertz monitor, a 60 hertz monitors, and all of these three monitors have different purposes. This is meant for my game, this is meant for Spotify and Discord, and this is meant for reading chat. This monitor layout works perfect for streaming as I can balance everything on different monitors. Over here we have a simple Amazon Basics tripod. This is what holds up this camera, which is a Canon M50 Mark II with a Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens. I love it for streaming, it looks so clear, and I use it for every aspect of my content. Over here, we're still rocking the same lights. This is the Favutec softbox. It's worked perfectly for me over the years. I absolutely love it. The foundation of my setup is a custom built desk that my dad built me. I absolutely love it. And the best part, which I'll show a little bit later, is that it has a secret cable drawer. These two cables are for my dummy battery and the cam link that goes into my camera when I stream. And over here is my mic setup. We have a Rode PSA1 connected into a Rode pod mic with a simple $5 windscreen from Amazon. Down here is a little something that I made. This is basically two blocks that protect the surface of my desk from getting damaged by the mic arm. They sit just like this with a little old mouse pad in between to protect the surface of both the bottom and top portion of my desk. Down below the setup, we just have my mini fridge. I just have one ghost in here. It's not been restocked in a long time, and that's just simply because it costs a lot of money to restock my mini fridge. As promised, this is my cable drawer. It makes cable management so easy. All I have to do is simply push in and here are all my cables. It's used by a magnet, so I just simply push in, it clicks, and we're good to go. This hides all my cables, and I never have to worry about cable raceways, cable trays, or anything. All my cable management is done inside this secret cable drawer. Staying close to the ground over here is my Elgato foot pedal. I absolutely love this for streaming. It is so convenient, especially when it comes to push to talk in Discord. Moving back up, we have my chair. This is a Mavix M5 chair. I absolutely love it. Slightly overpriced, coming in at 500 bucks but I absolutely love it. The mesh is super breathable, and especially when I'm streaming or editing for a long period of time, it makes it super nice because my back isn't super sweaty when I get up. Then moving over, this is the Gutsy Aiden and FR Slush collab mouse pad. I absolutely love the design of this. It perfectly matches my setup, and I love the vibe that they went for when they were designing this mouse pad. As for my keyboard, this is a custom built keyboard. I have a full YouTube video that I'll throw up on the cards about this. This is a white aviator cable. I absolutely love these. They're really overkill and overpriced and literally not needed, but they look sick in my setup, so I love them. Over here is my stream deck. I love this for streaming. Super unnecessary, but it's super convenient. I just push a button and it switches a scene. Next to my keyboard is my mouse. I personally think this is the best mouse on the market. It's the G Pro Superlight. It's a little expensive, but once you buy this, you'll really never have to buy another mouse again. I absolutely love it. It's super nice for casual and competitive play. Moving over to the right side of my desk, these are my HyperX Cloud Mix. I recently replaced the ear cups and it makes these headphones feel brand new. I highly suggest this if you've not done it. If your headset is getting old and the ear cups are starting to like rip apart, buy new ear cups. It saves you so much money. 10 bucks makes it feel like a brand new headset. So I absolutely love these headphones and I wanna keep them as long as they'll live basically. Over here is the main system for my audio. This is my Go XLR. So convenient for streaming. It allows me to route all my different audio sources inside of OBS. Super convenient. I can mute. I can use the sliders to adjust volume of my mic people in Discord, Spotify, my game, so convenient. I highly suggest it if you're a streamer. Then powering my whole entire setup is my PC. This case is a Corsair 465X case with a RTX 2070 Super, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM, a Corsair AIO with an Aurorus X570 motherboard, six total LL120 fans, some white cable extensions, an M.2 SSD with an eight terabyte hard drive, which I recently upgraded, been one of the best decisions considering how big COD updates are. I highly suggest you pick up 
a lot of external storage. If it's your first time building a PC, it'll save you so much money in the future. The CPU is a Ryzen 7 5800X. It's been a solid PC. I've really had no issues with it. And I really don't see myself upgrading it anytime soon unless I start to run into some serious graphical issues or processing issues when it comes to streaming and playing video games at the same time. One last thing I forgot to mention about the setup, this is my monitor arm. Yes, it is leaning, but it is perfectly fine. This is just a simple Vivo monitor arm. If I were to do my monitor layout differently, which I might end up doing in the future, I'd buy one pole for the top monitor and the main monitor, and I'd buy another monitor arm simply for this third monitor. I don't like them having them all on one pole. It really restricts how I can move them. So I want to do that in the future, hopefully split them up so I can put my camera in between this monitor and have the camera setup feel more natural. On the right side, this is my newer ring light. I absolutely love this. The adjustability is crazy, it gets super bright. It's a little overpriced coming in at around a hundred bucks, but it's so nice, especially when it comes to streaming. On the right side, this is my Oculus Quest 2. I bought this a few months ago thinking that I'd play with it a lot. And I'll be honest, I really have not touched it that much. I'm thinking about selling it. I play ping pong with my dad occasionally from time to time. But it really just sits here and I wish I could just get you rid of it so that somebody else can have fun with it because I just don't ever use it. So I'll probably sell this in the future. Up here, one of the most aesthetically cool parts about my setup in my opinion is my 3D LED clock. This is so cheap and I think it looks so sick coming from the top part of my setup. It's like the first thing that you kind of notice when you walk into my room, and I think this looks so cool. We also have some Cubs decorations. My older brother, when he used to be in my room, was a huge Cubs fan. I've just kind of kept these in here. Uh, he'll probably take them eventually when he buys a house, but he just didn't have enough room in his apartment. Moving over to the shelves, there's a lot to talk about about these shelves, but I'll try to keep it brief and quick so this video isn't an hour long. On the bottom shelf, this is my sports team shelf. I've got uh, Canes towels, Duke towels. I got baseballs that I've collected from that have been either signed by players, caught during batting practices, or caught during actual games. I have a baseball in that bag that I caught during a game. It was a home run. It's like one of my favorite moments that I've ever had being a sports fan at a sports game. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of memories over there. I try to buy souvenir cups anytime I go to a new stadium. Over here, I got the football helmets. My little brother likes to take them. So they're kind of disorganized right now and they're not all here, but I think it looks pretty cool. Over here, we have some Wrigley Field replicas as well as a few souvenir things that my brother bought when he went to Ukraine a few years ago for a missions trip. On the second shelf, we have some G Fuel, and I'll be honest, bro, I have not had G Fuel in probably over maybe a year and a half. Now that I think about it, it's really expensive for what you get, and I feel like just energy drinks or pre-workout is what I use for the gym now. It's just so much better. They're heavily underdosed for the gym for what I need, and I just feel like pre-workout or energy drinks is much better. But I still think G Fuel looks cool to like kind of show off and display, so that's part of the reason I keep it. I've had this neon cloud for years. A lot of people think they look tacky. I still think it looks kind of cool in the background of my stream, so I've kept it. Over here is a weather station that's outside. I actually love this, like this a lot. When I wake up, I know exactly what the temperature is and all the little details as well. Over here are my keyboards as well as camera gear. This is my mini keyboard. This is my Tokyo 60. Over here is my old Fortnite keyboard that I used to sweat on when I used to play on the PS4 before I upgraded to my PC. Back there we have a mic, my Bluetooth speaker, my sunglasses, the remote controls for some RGB products, a lens cover, um, my wallet, other stuff like that. Uh, my charger for my camera gear. Up here, this is my Apple shelf. I get a lot of questions about this. No, these are not all my Apple devices, not all of them have Apple devices in them. I've just collected boxes from friends and family and I think it's kind of cool to display them. Starting with the oldest, or not the oldest, the second oldest iPhone all the way up to the newest. Um, I try to collect them. I just think they look cool, like MacBook boxes. I just think Apple's marketing is really nice and I think it's super cool to showcase that almost like a museum way, I guess you could say. I don't know, I just really like it. I think it looks super clean. I've kind of done the same thing with the second shelf with just PC products and other peripheral boxes, other stuff like this. I might take this down. I do think it kind of makes the shelf a little bit cluttered in a way, but I also like the personality aspect too as well. So I don't really know. Above that, I just have some pictures of me when I was little, just some baby pictures and stuff like that. And up here is my setup camera. This is what 
basically it looks like this on my stream i think it's super cool it's a lot wider it's a wider angle so it shows my second setup as well but i really like this, this is a super unique aspect to my stream down here i turned this off because it didn't it like caused glare in the camera but this is my floodlight i love this for the background of my stream and the newest addition to my room that was literally finished the other day is my floating bed some of you guys may remember there was a big fat ugly bunk bed that used to be here and this finally got replaced by the time this video is up there'll be a five part series on my youtube shorts as well as a full length youtube video about this bed but this is one of my favorite additions to my room it's a floating bed that my dad and i built and it looks so clean it definitely frees up so much space in the room and it makes it feel so much bigger if you look underneath all i simply did was i took 30 feet of rgb and like stuck it on the bottom of the bed to give that floating effect with the down angle of the light shining and the it's held up by being screwed into the wall on both sides as well as this one leg that holds it up. Obviously, if you look closely from an angle, you'll be able to see the leg, but from most angles, you can't see the leg, and I think it gives off that floating effect, and I think it looks so cool. Another addition to the setup, which I really, really like, is my Govee Neon Rope Light. I made a full YouTube video about this, as well as a few YouTube shorts and TikToks, but this is super cool. You can customize it however you want. You can bend it in whatever like shape that you want. It, the app control is ridiculous. I think it looks so cool above the productivity setup, which has easily become one of my favorite parts of my room. I use this all the time for video editing and with college starting in a few days, I'm gonna be using this a lot for that as well. In the productivity setup, we have an ultra wide monitor connected to a monitor mount back here. The keyboard that I've been rocking with is a drop TKL keyboard. I absolutely love it for editing. It's got all the function keys. It's got arrow keys. It's got everything that I need. I'm also rocking with the same coiled cable that I'm using in my main setup. Still rocking with the Glorious Model O. A new addition as well is the Grove Made Felt Mouse Pad. I really love this for editing. It's it got an interesting texture to it coming from somebody who's always used like the gaming style mouse pads, but I really like it. Over here, my Sennheiser PC37X. Drop is actually sending me out a new pair of Sennheiser headphones. So stay tuned for a YouTube short about that. I'm really excited for a little upgrade from that. Powering the productivity setup is my 2021 MacBook Pro M1 chip. It's the base model. It's got everything plugged in that it needs to, the HDMI, power cable, everything to power the productivity setup. On the right side, the newest addition actually that was just implemented a few weeks ago is actually my MagSafe charger. I really like this. This was sent out from Grove Made. It's really nice handmade it's a wooden magsafe charger super super nice i absolutely love this i can just set my phone there when i'm editing to fully focus on the project that i'm working on over here we got the same floodlight that's right near my bed that's not turned on i'm a huge duke fan as you can tell with the banners the basketball hoop the clock everything you can just kind of tell i'm a huge fan of sports and then some people have asked me about this i live in a, like in a wooded area behind me and this is kind of the view that i have from my window uh, to my backyard. I have two windows right here. I absolutely love when it rains. It looks so cool. But that is going to wrap it up. I hope I covered everything in my setup and room. I'm super happy with how everything has turned out. My setup and room has really come a long way and I'm very pleased, especially with this new bed. I just think it really kind of completes my room as a whole. And I'm so happy and thankful for how everything has turned out. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe down below with the post notifications on so you never miss a future upload. If you'd like to come by and check out one of the streams, the Twitch link will be down below in the description as well as links to every single thing in my room. Thank you again for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.